This feature presentation is brought to you in living color. It's January 25th, 1997, and this is NWO Sold Out. Eric Bischoff and Ted DiBiase are our commentary team for the night. The show opens with the NWO making their way to the arena on garbage trucks through the snow. The first match is Chris Jericho vs Masahiro Chono. Jericho heads to the ring without entrance music, as all WCW wrestlers tonight do not get entrance music. During the match, we see WCW wrestlers joining the crowd. Nick Patrick starts slow counts for Jericho. This would be just the beginning of Patrick's one-sided officiating tonight. Mashihiro Chono wins with a boot to the face. This is the first Miss NWO segment here. Now, there is a segment between every match, so I won't go into details, I'll just show you some snippet as we go through. Next up, Big Bubba Rogers is taking on Hugh Morris with a Jimmy Hart in a Mexican death match. It's essentially a last man standing. Bubba wins the match after hitting Morris for the bike. We continue the Miss NWO competition where contestants are asked really dumb questions. Jeff Jarrett is taking on Mr. Wall Street. During the match, we see Deborah watching the match very closely from the crowd. Jarrett locks in the figure four, and Nick Patrick helps Wall Street get to the ropes. We see Deborah is pulling Mongo towards the ring. Deborah makes Mongo hit Wall Street with the briefcase to help Jarrett. Mongo then threatens Patrick to count the three, and Patrick fast counts Wall Street out. Jeff Jarrett gets the first WCW victory of the night. Now the third Miss NWO segment. The questions continue. The third match of the night, we have Buff Bagwell taking on his former tag team partner, Scotty Riggs. Bagwell wins with the blockbuster. We now have the fourth Miss NWO segment, and you guessed it, the stupid questions keep going. Next match is Diamond Dallas Page versus Scott Norton. During the match, we see NWO Sting in the crowd trying to mimic the real Sting. In the closing moments, Bagwell, Vincent, Bubba and Wall Street head to the ring and surround DDP. They once again attempt to recruit DDP to the NWO. And DDP says, yeah, I'm NWO. However, DDP has again deceived the NWO and takes out everyone he can before having to leave through the crowd. We now have a fifth Miss NWO segment. The next match is for the WCW Tag Team Titles. The Outsiders, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, are defending against the Steiner brothers, Rick and Scott Steiner. Like we were talking about earlier. Fire Mysterio up to the 
This. Oh. Oh. Wait, no wonder I couldn't see it. Taking advantage again. Sets up Scott Hall. Power. Power that is Scott Hall. Oh. Up. up that back. No oh. flat in WCW. He left out. Hard hitting match. Oh. oh. Press. Oh. oh. Look at Rick Stone. Which is well. And now Rich Steiner fighting the. Nick Patrick is knocked down and he's out. Rick Steiner hits the top rope bulldog on Scott Hall and a WCW referee jumps in from the crowd and counts the pinfall. We now have new WCW Tag Team Champions. But I think we might hear more about this on Nitro considering what Eric Bischoff is saying on commentary. Up next, the WCW United States title is on the line in a ladder match. Eddie Guerrero is the champion, but weeks ago Six actually stole the belt from Eddie, and Eddie is now looking to get it back. US heavyweight title. Both men pull the belt down and a tug of war ensues. Eddie hits six in the face and six falls to the canvas. Eddie Guerrero retains his United States title and finally gets it back. Now the sixth and final Miss NWO segment. Uh, we find out who the winner is and yeah, it's, it's finally over. Uh, this whole thing was a waste of time in my opinion and I mean, look at the throne. It's a toilet. I'm really not sure if this was a joke on the contestants or what this was. Now it's finally time for the main event. Hollywood Hogan is defending the WCW World Heavyweight title against the Giant. After the Giant hits the choke slam on Hogan, Nick Patrick fakes a shoulder injury. The match ends in what looks to be a no contest after the Giant choke slams Nick Patrick. The NWO heads down and the Giant fights off most of the NWO until Hollywood Hogan hits him in the back with a guitar. And Hogan then spray paints the Giant's back. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down, and I'll see you on the next one.